Hi. So, a few weeks ago, I went and saw the Batman v Superman movie, Dawn of Justice, and I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic movie. I mean, I had a good time. I'm not going to say that it was the best movie of all time. You know, it was no Citizen Kane, but it was fun. I had a good time. But a lot of people beat this movie up. I mean, they just really, really beat it up. I frankly didn't get it because I enjoyed it. Some people thought it was too long, and I'm of the opinion that if I put my money into it, <laughs> you know, I want it to be as long as possible. I'm one of those guys who wants to go to a baseball game and have it be four and a half hours long so I can get my money's worth. Anyway, it prompted me to look at some of other movies that I own that I liked, that other critics, you know, other people, whatever, didn't really like. And so I just thought I would just share that um, just because I just thought I'd share it. So I'm starting with this movie here, which you might have seen in my thumbnail, which was The Hulk. And this was the first one with Eric Bana. And the interesting thing about this movie, the reason I'm starting with this, is this is the only movie that the critics liked and the audience hated it. This one has a 73% rating from critics on Rotten Tomatoes, but only 29% from the audience. I, I don't know why they didn't like it. Frankly, I thought it was fantastic. But, you know, I'm like that. So, here's some other movies. You've got Legends of the Guardians, and this was about the owls. And I thought this was a fantastic movie, but it barely broke 50%. So, a lot of people might have thought it was a bit too ephemeral for them or whatever. It was, you know, it kind of had that, woo, you know, kind of, okay, I'm not even sure what animal that is. But I liked it a lot. Then another one, Hoodwinked. Are you kidding? This movie, people didn't like, the critics didn't like. I thought it was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen. And I watch it often. I just think it's so clever how it ended up, you know, taking a different look at the tale of Red Riding Hood. And I liked the music. I thought it was funny. Then we got The Wiz. Now, come on. Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. That's, you know what? It, every, all discussion stops right there. Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. Yeah, I said it. Star is Born. Are you kidding? You didn't like this movie? You know, people used to hate on Barbara Streisand all the time, and that's what I think this one was. Chris Christopherson was good in it. She was good in it. The, the album killed. I mean, I remember <laughs> Evergreen was the song that everybody was singing. I had to play this song in college my freshman year for like four or five women who wanted to sing it as their song for, um, what an audition. It was, we were all taking voice and, you know, they all wanted to sing this song. Every single one of them got crucified for it because none of them could really pull it off. I was smart. I picked a song that I knew the teacher didn't know for my voice thing, so I got my A. <laughs> but come on, that's a good that's good stuff. Okay, I'm ready to get beaten up on this one. Green Lantern. Yes, I'm the guy who liked it. I liked it in the theater. I liked it once I bought it and brought it home. I've watched it multiple times. I'm not sure what people didn't like about this. Okay, I do know what some people didn't like. The ending was a little weak. I, I will give you that. The ending was weak, but I thought the rest of the movie was fine. I didn't even know who this guy, Ryan Reynolds, was. And I thought, well, you know what? He's, like, he's a likable guy. And Blake Lively, she was hot. Um, I liked the movie. I'm sorry. You know what? I enjoyed it. Now, we're going to fight about this one. Armageddon. Armageddon. People I knew, okay, guys. I knew a lot of guys, men, who had daughters, and I had no kids, who almost cried, or did cry, and owned up to it, at the way this movie ended, where, you know, Bruce Willis, you know, he's about to give away spoilers, you know what, if you ain't seen this movie in 17 years, it's your own fault. You know, when Bruce Willis goes to push that button to ignite the, the nuclear weapon, I'm sitting there saying, okay, this ain't gonna kill him, are you kidding, it's Bruce Willis, it's just gonna throw him out in space somewhere. And then just have him die like that, in the, you know, the final speech to his daughter and whatever. I said, whoa, it almost made me cry, but it didn't. But I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Some people said it wasn't plausible. You know, what movies are plausible? Come on, Age of Ultron is plausible? 
I thought it was a lot of fun. Look here. This was not high drama. <laughs> this was not a movie that was going to win any Academy Awards, but you know what? It was funny as sin. I'm sorry. I laughed from the beginning to the end. Come on. We got a cigarette-smoking monkey. <laughs> And I don't even like monkeys. Mike Tyson is singing in the thing. Uh, this guy ends up with a Mike Tyson tattoo on his face. Uh, oh, my goodness. Um, the other guy who's not in the shot. Oh, yeah, there he is down here. Uh, you know, guy gets shot. And this guy who's supposed to be a doctor starts crying. I <laughs> can't handle it. Are you kidding? I thought this was funny. And Ken Jeong was even funnier than he usually is. That's a funny guy. I laughed a lot. I laugh every time I watch that movie. <sighs> iRobot. Come on, people. What didn't you like about iRobot? I thought it was cool. I thought this was one of the coolest movies Will Smith ever made. Uh, maybe you didn't like the book. You know, maybe you didn't like... Oh, my goodness. I can't even remember who wrote the book. My friend Scott would be really upset with me right now. But come on. I thought it was great. Now, maybe you didn't like because it was... Will Smith playing a white role. I don't want to go there, but I've heard that people say that about him in other movies. You know, y'all just need to get over yourselves. I enjoy this movie a lot. I watch it all the time. Of course, it brought us Shia LaBeouf. And actually, you know, I always thought he would be good, but, you know, he is what it is. Okay. Part of me understands what you might not like about this movie, but overall, I like it. Pearl Harbor. I like this movie. I will tell you this. I probably like the movie because I think it was one of the most stylish movies when it came to like the scene where, you know, the Japanese are bombing Pearl Harbor. And one of those things you may not know about me is I have seen almost no movies about war. My dad was in two wars. And I remember when I was 10 years old watching the news on Friday nights because on Friday nights is when they used to give the death and injury tolls for Vietnam. And we didn't know back then that they were lying to us about the totals. The numbers were way lower than they turned out to be in reality. And it was just one of those kind of things that we used to do. So I have rarely watched any movies that had anything to do with war, but I saw the commercial for this and I said, oh, that just looks so stylish. And I like this movie. Now, the love story part, okay, you know what? I will grant you that. <laughs> that was a little bit much. But you know what? Kate Beckinsale was hot. And, the, you know, the relationship between uh, Ben Affleck and, what's this guy, Josh Harnett, you know, it, I will give you the love story part saying, okay, that was a bit much. But everything else about this movie, I thoroughly enjoyed. And now here's the last one. <laughs> and the reason I'm laughing is because it's the Silver Surfer movie from Fantastic Four, which I must have liked a lot because I bought it twice. <laughs> I I don't know why I have two copies of this movie. I have no clue. I think that maybe I thought that this one was going to be the first movie or this one here, and it wasn't. I don't know. I I don't know. But I have two copies of this. I thought it was fun. The only gripe I ever had with the original movies, by the way, because I thought they were both fun was having Jessica Alba as a blonde. I think that was probably miscast. I mean, you know, I, I love her in movies. I've loved her uh, when she was on Dark Angel. But her as a blonde, no. If you had to have a blonde, you needed someone else. But her as the actress in this movie, I really enjoyed. So there you go. So that's just kind of a sampling. There's probably other movies I have that critics didn't like. But, you know, my main point here is that, like I said, I'm not looking at any of these movies as Academy Award winners. I don't think that, you know, they were necessarily the best acted across the board, but they were fun. I had fun. I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them so much, I put my money into them. And then I put my money into them again to convert them to digital so that I could watch them on my Nook and on my computer, although I'm not watching any movies on my computer, but every once in a while when I'm traveling, I might watch a movie late at night on the laptop. So, you know what? I put my money into it. It shows you I loved it. Now, there's a whole lot of other movies I have that were rated a lot higher that people seem to like. 
you know, including Star Wars Force Awakens. Yep, I got this. Um, but there is something about these other movies that I just kind of liked. You know, I have Rocky Horror Picture Show, which got beaten up when it first came out and is now a cult favorite. People love this movie. And even back then, I the very first time I saw it, didn't like it. But after that, I just had a lot of fun. You know, they're just those movies that we just like because we like them. And we don't care what anyone else has to say. But I thought I would share this. And now I'm going to ask you, what movies do you like that everyone else hates that you're ready to say, you know what, I don't care what anyone else thinks about this movie. I like it. Y'all let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this. What's it? That's supposed to say either like, subscribe, share. That's it. Like, subscribe, share. I don't think I've done that much with most of these videos, but I'm saying that for this one. And, you know, come on, come on, come on. Peabody. It's Peabody. Yeah, I know. Anyway, y'all take care. Have a great night.